Hey guys, so if you missed round one, I'll go ahead and list it up above, but this is round two for today and I'm super excited because I finally get to open these boxes. I do remember what is in some of these and then I also forgot what is in some of these. So <laughs> I'm just ready to open them up. So as you can see for round two though, um, the ponytail's down, the lipstick is changed because I was trying out this new liquid lipstick and it filled me. It dried up my lips so much and it stained them and I was like, this is not gonna work. So I put on some other lipstick to cover up the stain and if my lips look a little bit meh, it's because of that silly liquid lipstick. So I don't know. Do you guys ever have that problem with liquid lipstick? Like some of them just dry your lips out. Like they'll be okay for like maybe less than an hour and then off after that hour, they start to just like, like shrivel up your lips. But okay, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm super excited. We'll just go, um, we'll just start at the very top, I guess. And you can see my information is all right there. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. I know that this one is a figures box. So let's just get into it. I'm, it's been a long day. That was a long video. If you guys have made it to this video and you actually watched all of volume one. I should say not volume one. What am I saying? I'm, see, I'm so tired. Part one. Is it part one? I don't even know what it is because it's not part one because this isn't like a collection, like a whole series. It was, um, what did I just say? Round one. <laughs> did you guys make it through round one? And if you did and you answered the, you answered my question, let's see who is correct. So did you think this was a figures box? All right, let's go ahead and see what is in here. Let's see, so there is a bunch of tissue paper. Let's just make sure, yeah, just tissue paper. All right, and let's see what we have here. There they are, so super, super, super. Okay, let's see, ooh, yeah, I forgot what was in here. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, let's just start off with these ones. You can see Cozy Cottage. So this is from the Polyville set. Oh, there's a little bit of fuzzy on her. Okay, so this is Cozy Cottage and she is in a blue and white striped pajama with a teddy bear. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see who else we have. Oh, this is um, Drive-In, um, Burger Drive-In, Polly. And she's in a blue dress with kind of a tillish polka dots and she actually has white shoes on. You barely see that. So white shoes. And let's see, this is Polly's Schoolhouse, 1989, I wanna say. Polly's School, it might be school, Polly's School. So she has a cute little blue hat that matches her blue dress with white shoes on. So there's that. So that's so cute. Let's see what else, let's see what is in here. Um. So this is Fifi from Fifi Parisian Apartment. Am I saying that word right? I feel like I've mispronounced, mispronounced a lot of words because I read them, but I don't know if I pronounce them correctly. So if I'm ever wrong, I'm sorry, you guys. My English, I need to go back to school. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Oh, uh, let's see. She is, I forget who she is. This looks like maybe Polly's Cafe. She is missing her, her smile but she's in a red dress with yellow shoes. And then we have a cute little teddy bear that came from the party time surprise, but he needs a little bit of help. He's missing a little bit of paint there on his tummy and he's also missing some paint on his back. But that was in this little figures lot. The main reason why I got this lot was because, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I needed the swan to complete the Starlight Castle. So there's a cute little white swan. So not bad. I think I was able to pick up this whole lot of figures for like maybe 70, maybe 70. I think I want it on a bid for 70. And then there's also like the little infamous, I don't know if I should, I should say, the little famous tart tray. So this was also in there. And this piece is, it's easier to come by than the yellow tart tray, but this piece is a little bit harder to come by as well. So I was kind of excited about this one, but I already have one. So now I have two. <laughs> and then these are from um, the little pet carts. So there's supposed to be a purple pet cart. And then I think there's a bunny, a kitty and a puppy. They're all fuzzy. And then it has Polly. So it was part of the doll sets. So they're just little fun carts. And then you were able to stick them together like this. 
and Polly was able to pull them along. So see how they connect? And then you would be able to pull them along on the surface, just like that. All right, and let's, up, let's see, what do we have in here? Oh, the other figure that I was kind of excited about, just because I hardly ever get to see her, um, is Polly um, from the Beach Cafe, and she is the variant. So she is a little bit more rare in the US, um, but that is a variant. She's holding an ice cream cone. She has a pink shirt and red shorts with pink shoes. And in the regular one, she's wearing a white shirt with blue shorts. And I think she's has pink shoes on as well. But see, so she is a variant. So I thought that was kind of fun. And then this is Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. What is she from? Oh, I forget what she's from. I think she's from the Pretty Hair Playset. Yeah, I think she's from, the, she's from the Pretty Hair Playset from 1991, 19, 1990 maybe, 1991. I don't know. Okay, so there's that one. And then this is Polly. Um, from Polly in the nursery. So she has a cute little stethoscope and she has like a little white jacket, like a doctor's jacket and blue shoes on with a blue headband. So there's that. All right. So any, any sets you thought yet? Yes, yes, no, yes, no. All right. Let's go into the next box. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So let's see. Yeah. So all my information's right there, but it was so cute. They put thank you all over and I see the little hamster. <laughs> I don't know what was in this box, but it made me smile to see the little hamster. So I'm going to go ahead and open it from this side. Let's not show you guys my info. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure this one was from Macari. Um, I ordered, oh, did I say eBay? I said all eBay stuff, right? I think this was Macari. I'm pretty sure this was Macari. Let me just make sure. Let's open it. And not show my info. <laughs> All right, let's see what is in here. In it, look, kind of had that smoke smell. Okay, you know what? I hate. I hate it when I order things, and the seller does not write on the description that it comes from a house of smoke or something. And yeah, as I. Oh, I don't like that smell. I don't like that smell at all. I wish they would have told me because now everything in here is going to be smelling like smoke and I'm going to have to um, figure out a way to get the smoke smell out. There is several different techniques to get the smoke smell out. Um, one way that I just discovered is to put it in the freezer and you leave it in there overnight and I usually put it in like a little baggie and then the next day it's all gone. So yeah, so okay, these are a couple compacts. Let me see. Do you think you know what is in these bags? Do you see, or these wrapped bags? Do you see anything? Do you see a hint? Tell me, which one do you know? So let's go ahead and start with this one since I started opening it up already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it smells like smoke. Oh, I really dislike when that happens. It's a bummer, but it's okay. It's not, it's manageable. It's manageable, okay? It just makes the set kind of be like, Ugh, why? Okay, but Right off the bat, we have the Snow Mountain. So these are all just compacts, and I did order this off of Macari. As soon as I saw this, I I swooped it up, and you'll find out why. So this is a Snow Mountain. Sorry, I'm like going off. <laughs> um, but I believe this is part of the Vacation Fun Collection. And on the Vacation Fun Collection, what was really cool is there was a lot of different like little um, suitcases or trunks or backpacks, um, but just like little things that were able to be traveled with. And it came in like that little fun compact form. And then it also came with the fun little sticker decals that you could stick on. So this came with six decals, I'm pretty sure. But you were able to stick them on anywhere. You could even stick them on the back if you wanted to. But most, most girls wanted to stick them on the front. So as soon as you open the set up, let me see if I can get it. It is a fun little snow mountain. So this is the snow mountain. And this set or this collection was in 1996. So isn't that so cute? There was a lot of pieces in all of the vacation fun sets. Like they all had like bags to carry with them or hats or some kind of accessories. They had the stickers. It had like, it just had like a lot of fun things. Um, one thing that it, this one does do is you're able to take out the little slide. I can take it out like that. And I think sometimes you're able to connect it here if you wanted to for play. So you'd be able to go out this way if you wanted to. But then it also gave you access to go on the little um, ice. Oh, I don't want to flash you guys. The little ice skating rink right here. 
And then the fun part, another fun part, um, they all had this kind of like zipper action to them. So this one has like a little zipper right here that you're able to maneuver, if you guys can see that. So then in the set, something would move. So you see that right there? See that bottom piece right there moving? So um, you were able to stick, I know I believe this had like two snowboards, maybe some skis or something, um, poly, maybe a bag. There was a couple pieces and then there was also like um, another piece that you can um, like a little movable, not island, but like a little piece of land that had like two chairs on it that was able to be moved out from the set, if that makes sense. So, but on this part, you were able to put Polly on one of her skis and you're able to connect it to the little peg there. And then you would be able to make her slide down the little hill right there. Isn't that cute? So obviously this little has, um, this little set on the very top bunk has a little house that you can sleep in and then you're able to come down here and go on the mountain and then you're able to go down on this little hill. So just a fun little set. So that was a snow mountain. All right, let's see. Let's open up this one. So did any of you guys guess what this one was yet? See the back? This is another one from the Vacation Fun set. Oof. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm just don't mind my faces right now if I'm making any faces because it smells like smoke. So these are going to be going in the fridge right now after this. Um, but this is part of the vacation fun set too. And this is the jungle adventure and it's in a form of a backpack and see how it has all the sticker decals as well. This one came with six decals. And so you can see the little back as well. So isn't that cute? Like, look at these. These are so cute together. And there's like also a suitcase. There's a trunk. I think there's two more. There's two little, little bag ones that also go with this set, but that's besides the point. So this is the backpack. So jungle, jungle adventure. And once you open it up, let me just show you guys. You open it up and so cute. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. I just love the colors. This, okay. This set back in like I don't know, 1996, 95. I don't remember. This was 97 or 96. So it probably could have been 97. I just remember I saved up all my pennies, all my dimes, nickels, quarters, all the change that I could, I could scurry all the, like every time I did a chore, I would get like 50 cents because my mom knew I was trying to save up for a Polly Pocket. This was the Polly Pocket that I bought. And I remember I saved up to $7 and I needed 53 cents more with tax to get this set. And my mom was like, let's go to Walmart. And I think it was Walmart or it could have been Target. But she's like, let's go to Walmart and go get your set. So, and she paid for the rest of the 53 cents, which I was so happy and excited. But this was the set that I chose because I saw it forever and I love the little pink backpack. It was so cute. But oh my gosh, the set has like so much good memories. But as you can see in the compact itself, there's a lot of things to do. So this set came with Polly. There was a little orange kitty. Um, there was a little mini backpack just like this, but a little bit backpack that she could hold. Um, there was, what else? There's a little tree that goes in this part right here. So you can see like there's a little peg. Uh, a tree was able to sit in here and then it would pop up and be inside and outside of the compact itself. And then this part was able to come out and that's the little campfire and area that she can sit. Um, so, oh, that's like, that's what I was trying to say for this set, for this set, like there is a little piece of land that is able to come out just like this, that goes to that set. So this one is like that. And then the cool thing about the zipper, so you see the little zipper right here, you move that and the canoe is able to go up and down. There you go. Isn't that so cute? Sorry, you guys, I'm like a little crooked trying to get this going. Okay. Well, you get the idea. And then the other fun thing is this hammock up here is able to come out. So you see, there's a little hammock and then you just have like a little top area. So you could actually put this and connect it to the tree house, which was really cool. So like the tree house would be right here. And then you see this little area right here, you're able to connect your little hammock between the tree and that piece of land right there. If you can see the, the hammock. So just a fun set. These sets were so detailed and they had so much stuff going on. And the other thing that I really, really liked um, is that the dolls were very articulated, if that makes any sense. They could articulate their um, their hands and their arms were able to move 
forward and backwards. Their waist was able to bend. Their whole head was able to turn. And I think that was it. And they were also able to bend um, like so they can sit. So I think that was the first time that Polly actually became very like movable like that when they brought out this collection. So there's that. All right. Are you guys ready? This is the reason why I, I kind of was just like, I just did it. I just bought it. So these two are in here. Do you guys know what these are? Any hints? Are you excited? So I do have these already, but there's one reason why I picked it up and one reason only. So let me show you guys if I can get the tape off of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I think I said, I've, I keep, I'll keep saying this. I don't know when the seller puts so much tape on. I'm always afraid to break the set okay so oof. okay sorry so as you can see do you know what is in here do you know this is the main reason why I got this whole little lot it was about $140 I was probably one of the first people who saw it go up on Macari and I immediately purchased it because let me show you this is one of the most hardest things to collect for the storybook Toyland and the storybook Sweet treat shop. Sweet treat shop. Um, most keys come very rugged or very destroyed and tattered due to play. So if you guys can take a good peek, see how that already is coming like a little bit tattered. I, I was okay because I do have a key, but it's way more tattered. Like the the actual this part, I don't even know what part of that is, what that's called, but that is completely ruined. Like the bottom part is so ruined. But these keys actually came in really, really good condition from what I can find. I don't have a mint key, obviously, but to me, that's okay. I upgraded my key. So I'm so excited that this key was in here. And this is the Toyland. This is Polly's Toyland, and this is part of the Enchanted Storybook collection. And the key can sit right there. So that's also why. Um, this key would get messed up because when for play, you can see how it just stays there. But the other reason why, let me just try to not ruin it. Um, if you can see there is a keyhole and you're able to put the key in the keyhole and you would do that. You would do it for fun and play and you would turn it. But the thing is, this is such a soft plastic that the keyhole would just tear up the key and you wouldn't have your key for very much long. So the play was great idea, but they should have probably changed the way, just changed the plastic, I guess, a little bit, maybe to give it like a harder plastic. But aside from that, so here is the toy, toy lens. So super cute. It's a purple book with green pages and it has a little key lock on it. So gold key lock. And then when you open it up, let me see if I can get this. It's just so magical in here. I love it because it's like filled with glitter all over the place. I love it, love it, love it. So if you guys can already see, it is a toy land. And there's just so much detail in here. Now this set is very, very hard to complete because it comes with a teddy bear, um, Dee Dee and Polly, and then the key. And the teddy bear is a yellow teddy bear with a purple bow. And it's really, really hard to find that. I actually do have it somewhere in my in my lot of polys but it's just a really hard set to complete so it's very fun very beautiful um you can see on the top portion of the compact there is a little balloon area and this actually let's see if i can do it right actually pops out to the side and there's like a little seating area for polly or for dd Dee Dee. i'm pretty sure it's dd Dee Dee. i want to say it was dd Dee Dee. it's dd Dee Dee. it's either dd Dee Dee in this set or dd Dee Dee in that set either way, whatever it is. Um, but then you also have a little bed right here. And then there's like a little rocking chair right here that goes side to side. And this actually comes out and rocks with the rocking chair. So if you rock this chair, the swing goes forward. Isn't that so cute? And then when you come to the bottom um, area, there is a slide. So you can slide out from the bed and slide out down here into the little ball pit. And then this area, let's see where I'm at. This opens up into like another fun little treasure trove um, place. And then there's like a little airplane right here that actually does spin. And I think you can move over this pair. Yeah, you can move this little piece right here, the little pole, and then it spins the airplane. And then there's just like a fun little seating area right here that you could sit and have some food, whatever little fun snacks you can have at the Toyland. So that is Polly's Toyland.
such a beautiful, beautiful set. So definitely a little bit more on the rare side for this one. So there's that one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the key, you guys. That is, I'm just, yes, that is one of the reasons why I got this set. So next up, we have, this is the Sweet Treat Shop. So, oh my gosh, so excited. And guess what? There is another key. Now this one is a little bit more, I think this is a little bit more in better shape, but you can see it's really good shape. And I love how the key has um, the fun little embellishments right there, but then it has the holly pocket up top. So, and this is a sweet treat shop. I'm gonna put this down below. So a beautiful book. So hot pink, orangish yellow pages, same gold block. And the key can sit right there in the front. It has a fun little spot to sit. Just right there. So, so cute. And you can open it up. Okay, let me just show you guys. So this is the sweet treat shop. And there's nothing but treats in here, you guys. It's so cute. So again, this set is also hard to complete because it comes with a gingerbread man. Um, Polly, her friend, Okay, yeah, I don't think it's Dee Dee. It's just her friend. I'm not too sure what her friend's name is. But, and then it comes with a little red gingerbread man. And that gingerbread man is so hard to come by. Like, let me tell you, if you don't buy a complete set, you're probably not gonna get a gingerbread man because it's literally like, so tiny and it's so skinny and, and scrawny. You're just kind of like, oh my gosh, how am I ever gonna find it? So, yeah. So let me just show you guys the set itself. It's so beautiful. So just like the toy land, Holly's toy land, there's a part that pops out. So the little bed pops out and you can just see there's like a fun little stage back there. There is a fun little chair up here, lounge chair. These doors open. I think this opens to like a more candy, more candy. Like this is like a candy trove. Look at that. Look at all those candies back there. Oh my gosh. So many candies, so many sweets. Okay. And then you come down here, there is a little fun teapot. Do you guys see that little teapot? It is a teapot and you're able to lift it open and there is a seating area to sit. So Polly and her friend can sit and then Ginger Man can sit. And then down below is like kind of like a treat, sweet treat shop, you know, whatever. But then you're able to move this little ice cream piece. I don't know if I'm showing this. Let me go this way. This little ice cream piece. And then it's supposed to move. Oh gosh, is it stuck? Okay, it's kind of hard to maneuver, but it moves a little gondola piece right there in the river of sweets. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. So, so cute. I just love, let me see if I can do it this way. There we go. See, isn't that so cute? So, and I love all the glitter. There's just so much fun colors in here, like the orange, the pink, the pops of blue, the gold, the glitter, the magenta. There's so many colors, so, so many. And I love the little bed. I love how it has like a little lollipop and then like a little ice cream right there. Oh, just so cute. So these are probably two of my favorite. Um, this is one of my favorite collections. The Storybook collections are just so gorgeous and so fun. And this was 1996, I believe, because 1995 was the Storybooks, right? So, okay, either way, this was the second year of the Storybooks. So that is why I jumped on this so fast because I wanted those keys. So now I have two keys and then I can get rid of my other one. <laughs> All right, you guys, you ready for this box right here? Um, so far, did you guess what was in these boxes yet? Did you guess? Did you guess? So let's see what is in here. So here is another one. Let me see if I can try to open it. Okay. I'm going to try to open it from here without hurting myself. <laughs> Oop, okay, like that. That would have been great. Okay. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this tape. Come on, tape. I should have probably, you know, I should probably do the tape before um, filming and just have it ready. But then I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's, not as exciting to open a box on camera. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I'm, this is impossible. Hold on. Okay. Oh 
my goodness, you guys. Okay, so there is a bag in here. And <gasps> there's like, I don't know, there's a lot of sets in here that I know of. So this is kind of interesting to see <laughs> how they wrapped it. So, okay, when I saw this on eBay, because this is where I got it from, I just immediately purchased it because it was like only 150, I think, with shipping. And it was so weird because I messaged them and asked them if it's been shipped yet because they it was supposed to be shipped from Honolulu. And then when I finally messaged them, they actually shipped it and it shipped from California. So I was like, oh, so it actually arrived here super quick, but I was kind of in, interested in how <laughs> they shipped it. And because it was so cheap for this many sets, um, I didn't think that they really cared what, how they shipped it, I guess, if, if that makes sense. And just considering the fact that they just sent it like this just shows that they didn't care. I mean, they cared, but they didn't care enough. Because look at this. <laughs> I don't know, like how this one was bubble wrapped. This is completely in a paper bag, you guys. I mean, it's not going to hurt the polys. I mean, they put it in a box, but, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know, you know? it's just kind of funny. It's funny to me. So there are several sets in here. Um, they are not complete sets. The funny thing about this is these are all random sets of polys with random dolls. <laughs> so we're going to go through these and we're going to figure out what it is that I got and see what goes with what, if it goes with anything. Um, if it doesn't go with anything, we're going to figure it out together. So... There's a couple animal wonderland houses and all that fun stuff. So not too much, but still fun enough. So let's just go ahead and do the two right here that I see. These are actually the beach house. I think this is actually the very first Polly Pocket that was released in 1989. I'm pretty sure this is at the very top of the list. So there was two of there, and two of these in there. And as you can see, oh, I wonder, I don't think that, I think one of them goes in here. Um, I think that's, that Polly looks like she's from the Pretty Hair playset. Ooh, I think that Polly is from the Pretty Hair playset. I'm pretty sure that is. The other one is Wee Willie, and I'm pretty sure he belongs in here. He looks, I think he belongs in here. But there's supposed to be another Polly, and I think she might be wearing pink or yellow. I don't know. I think this is a pretty hair place at Polly though. So there are two dolls and you can just see it's a very simple classic compact. It has three levels at the top portion of the compact. So at the very top there is, it's kind of like the double, a double kind of house, if that makes sense. Like um, top floor is a bedroom with a bathroom, like a shower stall. Second floor is um, a bedroom with a vanity. And then the bottom floor is like a little kitchen space, like um, a little seating area, like a dining seating area. And then the very bottom of the compact, like the por bottom portion of the compact is the, it looks like a lake, but it could also be a beach because it's supposed to be the beach house. But if you look at how it's all connected, it looks like a little lake. And there's a cute little pier that's actually broken. It's missing some boards and it looks like the board is over there. Yeah piece of the board is over that there sorry you guys and then it's so funny because this little gate opens so they're supposed to walk over the water and go out of the compact into the beach into the ocean <laughs> I don't know I don't know tell me what you guys think because it's so cute but it's just like a little like it kind of looks more like a little lake but see there's like a little sand pal and then there's a shovel but so cute so same thing with this compact Let's just see. Oh, see, there's different figures in here. <laughs> okay, see, so this one is a little bit more beat up, but same thing. And it actually has, if you can see, that is, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, look, I can actually show you guys. I forgot. Okay, so this is the um, regular, let me see if I can hold it right. And then let me see if I can hold this one right. Okay, so see, this one is the normal variant. So she has, oh, she has white shoes. Sorry, I thought she had pink shoes. So she has a white shirt and blue pants, whereas the other variant has a pink shirt with red shorts. So cute. And they're both holding ice cream. One is holding a pink ice cream cone. The other one is holding a white ice cream cone. So, so cute. So that is Beach Cafe Polly. And then this is, this is Alexia. Yeah, that's Alexia. So Alexia is from the Summer House, the 1993 um, Polyville Collection Summer House. So she's in here. 
So see what I mean? These sets don't belong technically together, but it works. It works, right? All right, let's see what this one is. I think this is also from 1989. It looks, I don't know. It looks a little sun damaged to me, but then again, the whole color and the concept. No, it actually is not because, or is it? No, it mat I feel like it matches. Does it match the inside? It matches the inside. Okay, so when I say the inside, what I mean is like this part, that's how you can tell if your set is sun damaged. But if you can see the outer rim of where the compact is, that is the true color of the compact. And it looks to be the same color. All right, so this is um, Buttons Animal Hospital. And it actually has some of its dolls. Okay, awesome. So it has the dog. And you can see the little brown dog with the little um, white ears and white tip on its tail. And then there's buttons. And this is an animal hospital. Oh, wait, let me see if I can move the door so you can see her a little bit better. So there's buttons. And she's kind of like in a little pink and white reception desk dress kind of thing. And then um, it's missing Tiger the cat. So there's a cute little orange cat that comes in this set too. But other than that, it's pretty much almost complete. So you can also see like a lot of the classic compacts have three levels on the top portion of the um, compact. So top floor is where Button sleeps. <laughs> it's a little bedroom. And then the middle floor is like a little, little living space area with like a TV and a um, couch. And then the bottom floor is like the back office of where they can go check out the animals and see if the animal's okay, you know, give a little animal checkup. And then the bottom portion is the waiting room. So there's like some waiting area, there's is um, a kennel to put your little animals and then re the reception desk right here. That's where Buttons probably works. So super cute. So there's that one. Let's go ahead and get into this one. So this is, I okay, this is the purple. Uh, Poly Studio Flat. I'm pretty sure this is Poly Studio Flat. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there is, I'm sorry, it's just cracking me up to see all these different figures in these sets. Um, and that is actually Tasman from the Pizzeria, um, 1993 Pizzeria <laughs> Polyville set. And I think this, I don't know if she goes to this set. She might go. I think she does go to the set. I think she is here, but she is missing her face. But this is Polly's flat. So again, there's three um, because it's the 1989. There is three levels on the top portion. So you have a balcony, you have a bedroom, and then the bottom portion is like the entryway to the hallway upstairs and then a little shower. And then the bottom portion is your kitchen and your living room. So such a cute set. But there's that one. All right, let's get into this one. What is in here? Let's see, this is the Precious, no, this is Pretty Bunnies, I'm sorry. So Pretty Bunnies, oh, and they actually have some bunnies in here. Okay, cool, so there are the bunnies. Oh, they're so cute, they're little white bunnies, oh my gosh. And they're flocked, so they actually have a nice little fuzzy feeling to them. And then the Polly in here, it does not go in here, but she looks like she does. But she actually comes from the, I think she's from the Bay Window. That's the 1993 Bay Window from the Polyville Collection. And the Bay Window is kind of like a party house. So that's why she has her little purple party dress. So this is the Precious, no, Pretty Bunnies. I'm sorry, you guys. So Pretty Bunnies. And I just showed this one in my last video. So if you guys want more detail, go to that video. <laughs> but there's that one. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this one. This is Lulu in her speedboat, and this is a ring case. Um, all the ring cases have this bulkier compact size. So as you can see from comparison, it's about, it's a little bit more than half, maybe double. It's like about double in size because it actually holds a ring compact. So let's see. Oh, see, so it is here. So this is almost complete, but as you can see, here is Lulu from the treehouse. So Lulu does not belong here, but Lulu does go in here. Um, so I think Lulu is actually wearing like a swimsuit. I'm not sure if it's a black swimsuit, like a striped swimsuit or a polka dot swimsuit. Either way, Lulu belongs in here. But the fun thing about this little set is it has a ring. So the speedboat is the ring. You can see the little ring band right there. And you can actually put your poly right there to sit. And then you have a little ring to wear. And then the cool other part is the fact that the dolphin comes out. Isn't that so cute? So the dolphin can come out and play. So there is Lulu and her speedboat. So I love this set. And the cool thing also that I really liked about the set is this little part that you can put Lulu in, the little life preserve. 
and she actually can just float right next to the boat. <laughs> so such a fun little ring set. All right, let's see what is in these little houses right here. Um, we'll go with this one. So I think this is this is Big G's treetop. So this is a giraffe's, the giraffe's house. And you can see it's so cute. But this is part of the Animal Wonderland set. And when you open it up, the tree actually opens up as well. And it it's um, a little seating area for one of your um, polys or animals to sit in the tree. And then this set did come with two different polys. So let me see. Hold on. So let's just show you guys the tree house. So this is where the giraffe sleeps. This is his little bedroom and there's like a little um, shower stall on this side and then you go down the stairs and this is like a little fun seating area and there's actually three dolls that come with this. I know there's the giraffe, there's another animal and then there's Polly obviously. So just a fun little set and this set came with, oh okay it came with <laughs> um, Polly and Lulu and they these both come from the ski lodge. So there's that one. All right, so see how fun this little this little mini lot is. Like it just it's so random, and I was like, oh, I can use some extra figures. I can use some extra play sets, and I'll hopefully along the way collect you know the right dolls to the right play sets. Um, oh, let me show you. Sorry, guys. So this is Bianca's burrow. I want to say this is Bianca's burrow. Hmm, it could also be the elephant house. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me you guys what it is. Comment down below and let me know which one this is. But it's cute. Cute. It has like a little purple haystack on top to make for the roof. And there's like a little area that you can put your Polly or one of the animals. And then I don't know what animals go to this. So there's always two animals. Not always. I should say. I shouldn't say that because I think the horse ranch has three animals. And then there's another one that has three. So, but this one I know has two animals and then it has Polly. But, and the cool thing is. The little gate out front open so we can open it and go inside there's a cute little well right up front and then you open it up and here's the place that let me get the dolls real quick oop, oop, sorry 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 okay so here is the place that itself so a fun messy little house oh my goodness there's clothes up here that are all over the floor uh you have a telephone that has not been hung up so they obviously been on the phone all day and then you have another telephone right here oh my gosh do you think they're talking to each other that's so cute and then you have a little vanity on this side and then I don't think the closet opens no the closet doesn't open but then when you go down below um you have it says like my goodness there's like so many like telephones okay I count one two three types of telephones and that looks like a typewriter so look at this guys so there is a silver telephone um a purple telephone and a teal telephone oh my goodness they're all talking to each other polly and her two friends can talk to each other and then there's a cute little stove with a little pot on top so cute and then this little area back right here um one of the animals can sleep right here that's another bed so if you guys can see there is actually a little door right there so the animal can get inside and this set had Okay, so this is Polly from the pet shop in 1983 from the Polyville collection. And then this is Emily? Lulu? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Um, maybe? Maybe Lulu. I think this is um this is Lulu from the Bay Window playset. So such a fun little mismatch sets and that's one thing that I like sometimes they're just mix ma mix match and sometimes you have sets that you need to complete so that's half the reason why I, I wanted to pick this up and just have random sets I guess you can say and I can try to complete them later on in life or whatever when I get another lot who knows but yeah so that was everything that was in here and that I'm super excited about these you guys let me know what is one of your hardest hard to find sets like what are you trying to complete what is a rare set that you're trying to complete or a hard to find piece that you really really want to get and comment that down below because this was one of my um, ISOs was to find good keys at least I mean if it's not mint at least pretty good and these are actually probably pretty good or near to mint but yeah so I'm gonna call this video good and say good night officially because it is now 1 24 a.m. We're getting better. It's not 5 a.m., but we're getting better. And I will talk to you in the next one. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.